Hello, my darlings. Happy Wednesday to everybody and welcome back to Let's Build the Worlds. And welcome to part one of the Old Vicarage. We have a new build starting today and a new family to introduce you to. That is what we're going to get doing, darlings. Um, I have got ideas for this place. I want this to be kind of like a Victorian-esque looking vicarage. A bit like this here. I think a bit like this. I know this is like a little drawing, but I just think that's really cute. I probably won't go for too much of the same kind of exact look to it. I just want to get inspired from this and use a lot of red brick, maybe some white windows, some bay windows here and there. Um, I want it to have three bedrooms. I want to have various other things in here as well. We, we've got, we need space for a dog for starters. Um, and I'm thinking I might put a pool on this lot as well. Uh, we'll see how we'll go with space, but I might even do a little pool on this lot. Um, I just think it will fit in with this kind of vibe that I'm going to go for. And I really want to do kind of overgrown kind of Victorian-esque garden. So lots of flowers, that kind of vibe with this place. That's what I want to do. That is what we want to do. And that is what we are going to do. So I'm going to flop over now. We're going to introduce you to the family and then we'll make a start on the build. Now here we are, my darlings. This is the new family. This is the Coleman family that I'm going to be introducing you to, including father father if you will father robin coleman <laughs> he's the vicar he is the vicar over at brindleton church park so this is his establishment over there and this is his family where his old house is now i probably wouldn't say that he maybe owns this house i think the house might belong to the kind of church sort of state if you know what i mean so whoever is the um the vicar that works in the church they get residency in this place here so that's what we're going to make come across here and um, this is this family i'm going to introduce you to them now now obviously i'll go back to robin in a minute but this is the wonderful grace oh she looks a bit <laughs> she looks a bit bored of that kiss i won't lie i won't lie but look how beautiful she is for goodness sake can you stop being so beautiful it makes me sick um robin is a primary school teacher i reckon she is a primary school teacher um, and I reckon, and I'm, in my head, Robin was a teacher as well. Robin was a religious studies or religious education teacher. And they met by that way. They met from that way. They worked in the same school. Um, and she used to teach secondary school, but she moved down to primary school now. So she's, she just couldn't deal with the teens. She couldn't deal with the teens. It was getting her stressed. This was at the time when they didn't have children as well. And they just... Um, establish their relationship that way. Now, Robert, I reckon Robin was getting a little bit bored. I keep calling him Robert as well in my head. Robin gets, was getting a little bit bored of teaching. Let me see. Open your eyes, darling. There we go. He's, they're all very beautiful. I mean, what would a sim be? Oh, <laughs> not that. No. Oh, no. I'm going to have to try and line that up, aren't I? Can I line that up? Oh, no. Just a little bit more. Maybe like there. <laughs> Why am I a child? Why, why is that hilarious? I have no idea, but I'm absolutely for it. Um, anyway, <laughs> storylines. Robin was getting a little bit bored of teaching. And not just teaching in itself, just teaching children, teaching teenagers. He wanted to teach everybody about the religion that he loves, the religion that he's got faith in. And he decided the best thing to do with that would be to become a vicar and that's what he did he studied hard um and he found this church i reckon they originally may be from san Myshuno, so they moved as well out from the city into this coastal area um of brindleton bay and decided to set down roots here and start their own family um and i reckon grace was like yeah do you know what do you know what i'm up for that as well grace open your eyes darling oh see you later <laughs> not the slow movement not the slow movement. No. No. Grace, stop it. Grace, you're freaking me out, love. Grace, stop it. She's still going. She's still going. Imagine she did a 360 of her head. Oh, but not before that. I really wouldn't. But Grace was on the same lines as well. She wanted to start her own family. She wanted to move somewhere a bit quieter, away from the city crimes that kind of comes through and put up roots somewhere completely different. And that's why she came and started her family here. I reckon they've been here for a good maybe... 
10 years, 10 years. I probably, I reckon they're both in there, maybe late 30s, late 30s, I would say. Yeah, we'll go with late 30s. Um, and yeah, they're here. Uh, she still teaches as well. I've made sure to put her into that profession. Um, and she's just loved. She's loved. I'm going to set up lots of relationships with the other Sims um, around the towns. Um, and I just think they're a really lovely, uh, beautiful family. And I'm absolutely for it. Absolutely for them being here. Uh, and children, we've got two kids to introduce you to. Now, first up is the lovely Matthew. Um, Matthew is um, a kid. He's a child. He goes to school. He's very clever. He is very, very clever. I reckon he's questioning his faith. He's kind of sort of seeing differences in realism with his faith that he gets taught about. And he's kind of in that questioning phase of his life, which his father really loves and he encourages it. He makes him like, well, not does, doesn't make him, kind of helps him, helps him kind of broaden his horizons and... I kind of like that. I kind of like that little vibe with him. He's kind of questioning everything, questioning things. I reckon he's probably around about nine, eight or nine, probably nine. Um, and yeah, he's just had that questioning phase, love. Why, how, what, where and when, you know? And I'm for it. Absolutely for it. And his little brother here as well. It's beautiful little brother. Look at Peter cuddling their dog, dog honey. I made sure to give him a dog as well. So look at little Peter. He's a little bit of a rambunctious scamp, is this one. Rambunctious? I think I made that word up, but I'm for it. But, but I mean, look at those eyes. And look at that beautiful hair as well. He's bloody gorgeous. I mean, he's a toddler. He's doing toddler things. There's not much depth to his personality as of yet. But he is a bit of a prankster. I reckon he's going to grow up to be a little bit more mischievous than the rest of them. And I'm kind of here for that. I am kind of here for that, but... I love this family. I love this whole dynamic that they've got going on. Um, never really done a religious sim before in any kind of like safe file. So I'm kind of, I'm going to leave it open to religion as well. Whatever religion you guys um, celebrate or have faith in, then I'm not going to pinpoint what religious religion this is. I don't want it to be kind of like closed off to anything, you know? So but he works in a church and he's a vicar. And I know not all of the religions have got vicars but i'm just saying we're going to go down that route with this sim world that we are living in right now thank you thank you very much but yes this is what we're going to do today so i'm going to get right into build mode and we're going to start building this house okay then my sweethearts here we go we're going to make a start we're going to make a start so i'm looking at that little reference image that i got it has got a bit of a lawn in the front and i kind of want a little bit of lawn in the front of this as well but I don't want it to take up too much of the front because I also want to do a little bit of a back garden as well. So we're just going to have to make changes here and there if they may come afoot. Yes. Yes, we will. Um, <laughs> um, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go there to there. I'm going to do the entrance like on a three. And then this one here is going to come out and I'm going to do maybe a five there. Not a massive, massive house, really. It's a big house. It is a big house. And I reckon this was maybe not the original vicarage. I reckon the vicarage burnt down rather, um, I was going to say seductively. And it's <laughs> there is nothing seductive about a house burning down, Aiden. There is nothing seductive about a house burning down. I reckon it was, uh, nobody was harmed. Nobody was killed. You don't need to worry about that, my loves. But, yeah, it burnt down. Oh, what a day that was. That was the day. And they blamed it on the witches. Of course they did, you know. Back then, bastards. Absolute bastards. Blamed it on the witches. Um, I'm going to widen that up, actually. I'm going to widen it to a six. Let's have a look at you. Let's have a, little, let's have a look at you before you stop making silly buggers. Here we go. Yeah, I think I will. I think I'll do that. I might even make this slightly longer here. Do it like that. Yep, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to go right on top. So we're literally building cubes today, loves. Literally building cubes. But this is what we're going to work with, hopefully. No idea how we're going to work with this. Um, no idea how I'm going to do this floor plan as of yet. Uh, I might even come out one more on the front. No, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it that way. I'm straight along here. And then we'll make a start on the roofs. Roofs, even quite a big house isn't it <laughs> it's like no 
not going to be a huge house, but it is a big house. Do I want to balance that out at the front there? I want this to come out a little bit more at the back, I think. Like, to maybe about there, actually. Yeah, we'll see how that works. We'll see how that goes. Let's start putting some roofs on first. I'm going to start off with this roof at the front here, because this is, like, the main kind of, like, focal roof coming all the way along. Um, and a lot, we're going to do a lovely red brick as well with lots of like white ornate pieces on it. I don't know how we're going to do that, but we're going to we're going to try. This is going to go up a little bit higher, maybe to about there. I haven't done a house like this for ages. Um, the door's going to go here, so I need to probably work out where I'm going to put the door before I put the roof on top. Um, so let me find a door, and then we'll work out where we're going to put the roof on top. We're going to go there for the minute, and if it changes, it changes. You know. Two windows here. Lovely windows at the top. Wish we had the windows that they've got in this um, drawing because they're gorgeous. But we don't. So we shan't. Right. And then I'm going to... I think I'm going to do a half hip over this side. I'm going to flop you two along there, my love. And then I'm going to whiffle you right in to about there, I think. I think that might be a good height. And I might even bring the flaps down. Just a little gooby dooby like that. Yeah, that's nice. It's making me not want to put a roof here now, but I am going to try it. I'm going to trial it because I think it's just a nice little focal point. Ah, oh, do you know what? Do you know what would look good? This is what we're going to do. I'm going to bring you out one more here. And you, my love. And then I'm going to extend this one out one like this. And same here. Ah. Oh. Oh no, the roof will go on that. It's fine. It's fine. We're doing things. It's it's fine. And then you can flop on out to the outside, Mr. Door. And I'm just going to do you as well. Why not, you know? And then I can put that roof on top of there, which is not as big, but it is slimmer than that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to whiffle this. Oh yes, because that's going to give us enough space on this side to be able to put two windows, which is always good. Put that door in the middle there. And then put the roof on that point there. That might look weird. We're going to trial it. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. And if it looks shit, I'll change it. Um, One there. These, I'm going to tuck them in for now. Same with you. And then I'm going to bring this one. This one's like a lot taller, weirdly. Like, it's a lot taller. Oh, I don't know if I like that. I think that might need to come up as well. I know I'm three miles away, but I need to see the whole thing. Yeah, I'm going to bring you down one more, I think. Okay, and then there's a smaller one here. Um, I'm, I'm unsure how I'm going to feel about that. Oh, that is very similar height um, to this one. So I might even raise that one up just a little bit more as well. Yeah, that's a bit better. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling that now. And then there's another roof line here. I'm unsure if I'm going to do that or not. Because I'm going to be doing two windows there and there. So we'll leave it as it is for the minute, I think. Yes. Okay. Now, the next big thing I need to find is windows. Windows are going to be the, the make or break of this. So I'm going to go in, search for some windows, and I'll be right back. And, and some wallpapers as well, actually. Okay, I think I've got something. This is the wallpaper that we're going to go for. I was a bit like, oh, is it a little bit too decorative? But once I put all of the windows and stuff on, I was actually quite happy with it. So we're going to do that. I also bought out the back as well to kind of match in with the front a little bit. Um, okay, and then what I'm going to do, first off, what we're going to do, we're going to come down to this level, my loves, and we're going to put in a bay window down here just for a little bit more of an interest. Um, on this level. I think it will work out a little bit better that way. We're going to flop these two windows up here. One there. And is that equal? It is oh, stunningly equal to our length. Then we're going to flop one of these in the middle here. Then we're going to put one on each side here. And here. Beautiful. And then what I'm going to do is flop on a little octagonal little roof up on this bit, my loves. Flop you to excuse you. You need to be central, please. What's going on? Do I need to do it? Oh, I need to do it again. 
Right, and then we're bringing flaps down. Oh shit, it's come like this. It's kind of... Oh, in fact, maybe that's what I need to do is just do it like, excuse you. Oh, please stop being silly. I hate these roofs so much. I really do. No, you're going to be an asshole. Are you? Okay. Okay. Just so I know you're playing that kind of game, are you? Right, okay. So, is this not going to be a bit big? Oh, it's going to be shit. Oh, that looks shit. Maybe. Um, did I have the right roof? This works just a minute ago. I tried it and it looked lovely. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. <laughs> That's what I did. I think I just did that, but um, I went about a derpy way of doing it. We're also using this redder um, sort of tile as well. I think it ties in nicely with the house. Lovely. Oh, sorry. That burp flew out then. I do apologise. I do apologise to anybody that doesn't like a burp. But do you know what? It's a natural human thing, loves. We all do it from both ends, you know? Not that I fart, because what, as you all know, I'm gay. Um, I'm going to flop you to there. I think I'm going to use the same windows on this side. But I don't know if, I'm, I, don't know if I want to put two there. I think it might look a bit crowded if I did two. Unless I go for a different window on that side. What's stopping me from using like two of these here? It kind of goes into that detail on the... I don't hate that. I don't hate that, but can we do anything better? I've been using a lot of university windows. Maybe something more like just plain and square. Like me. Maybe I could choose these. Eh. Not really fitting in with the vibe is what I wanted it to be, though. But let me just see if I can do like one and one. Like that and that. No, I do think those need to be detailed at the top. They're fine down the bottom because they kind of tie in with the bottom windows quite nicely. Um, I think what I'll do is maybe just do one of these at the top here. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's cute. I'm into that. And then what I'm thinking is adding in these onto the edges. I don't know if I'm going to use them at the biggest size. Or if I'm going to size them down, I'm probably going to size them down, which is going to be a pain in the ass to get done. But we'll do this little bit here together and then I'll do the rest of the house. You won't get bored of watching me place something like this. I don't want to put pillars here either or columns. I'm thinking more along the lines of these. I just I prefer these. They're a little bit more. I don't know. They just look nicer to me. That's what we're going to do. Right. And then I'm going to size one down. Oh, the, oh, oh, I forget about you. When you do size them down, they're assholes. I forget about that. So maybe I'll do you to there then. And then we'll go all the way up here. I just love these, but I'm so gutted that these don't come in. I can't see my fucking keys. There we go. Um, I wish these come in more colours. I wish we just had more pieces like this that we could put on the outside of houses to um, give details, you know? Especially like this kind of like sort of accent on the corners. I'd love to see more of that. I'm just going to take my bracelets off. Me, me chakra beads, loves. Grounded. I'm just going to take them off because they kept hitting the desk then. It was annoying me. Um, oh, I feel unbalanced. <laughs> I feel completely unbalanced now I've took them off. <laughs> oh, you've got to laugh, haven't you? That one there's glitching. It's annoying me. Do I want to put them on? I don't know. I think I do. I think I do. As soon as greenery is on this build as well, definitely want to get some wisteria on this build. I think it will work out once I've done that. But I'm going to have to whiffle this around because that's glitching. Let me put these on. I'll be right back. Well, I tried all of that and it looked shit. So I'm fuming about it. Yeah, it just looked like one of the builds that I would have done like <laughs> five years ago. And I'm not into that anymore. Absolutely not into it. So we're not doing it. We're not having it. It just looked a little bit too weird. What I did decide on, though, was putting a little roof line here, my loves. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to flop in a little roof line. And the one that they've got is like one of the ones that have got the, you know, the like awnings. But I don't think I'm going to go for one of the awnings. I haven't even looked, actually. But I don't think there's going to be a vibe in here that would match in with what I want, to be honest. No. No, there's not. There's not. So we're just going to put a nice little roof line in instead. And I think I'm just going to go for a half hit 
I'm going to do a half hip here and there. And then I'm going to whiffle it down and hope that it looks okay. <laughs> that, it, that it looks okay and doesn't look shit. Can I do that there? Um, I mean, that's not too bad. It's almost... Excuse you, I didn't grab you. It's almost making me want to put like a circle window there. Hmm, do we have a circle window that would look okay there? That's the question. I mean, I've only I've already done that one and it's too small. I don't think we've got any that are... Oh, but then it makes me want to get rid of that one above it now. You know? No, I don't like that at all. Go away. What was I thinking? Aiden, get your shit together. Right. No, I think that roof does need to be flaps in, sadly. I sadly do. Unless I could bring it out like one here. I could do that. And maybe just whiffle that, this window up just a little bit. So it's not too noticeable that it's a lot higher. Let me see if that would work. Yeah. I just don't want the detail to be gone from that window. Um, Get in the middle. There we go. Oh, do you know what? That'll do. <laughs> That'll do. That'll do in itself. Yeah, I think that's the one. I think that is the one. I want to use some... I might even try and use one of the... Ah, oh, the, the problem with this, though, is the brick looks really... I wanted, like, a brick accent, you know, on the actual um, pillar themselves. But all of the bricks that we've got on these, which is just this one, are just not going to tie in well with it, I don't think. I mean, that's not too bad. It's com completing at a wrong brick, you know? Oh. Oh, I want bloody creator style back so much. I'm fed up with fighting, trying to make things work. <laughs> maybe we won't do that <laughs> we'll use these instead this is what i tried on the corners this is why i also tried out these on the corners of the build and it just looked absolutely awful um yeah we'll go for them we'll go for them and we'll put a nice spandrel in as well going all the way around we'll probably go for a nice ornate looking one um excuse me maybe like mm, not, mm, i mean that's not too bad that isn't too bad. I wish this one came in white. I like that pointy one. We have got this one though, haven't we? Oh yeah, this one. Yes, this one here. And then what I'm going to do is put in a chunky trim. I don't tend to use chunky trims anymore, but I just think it would work. Oh, it looks horrible. Um, What about you instead? I mean, that's also not that great, but we're going to go for you. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Right, okay. We haven't got loads done today, as always, with first parts. We never tend to. Um, we definitely haven't got enough room for a lawn out the front now, that's for sure. But we'll make it apparent with some, with some nice stripes and a nice fence. Um, but I think to finish it off today, I want to put some chimneys in and just put a few more exterior details in. Maybe some wisteria. And then we're going to be done. So, the chimneys. There's like three of them that I can see in that reference image. Um, and they are quite chunky big boys. So I think we're going to go down that route, loves. I'm going to try and match in this colour as best as what I can. I think there is like a browner version. I think that was the one. Um, I mean, that one there's okay. Uh, no. <laughs> God, it's just me getting annoyed this time. That things just don't fit and work. Mate, what about you, even? I mean, this one here could work, to be honest. But I do want a chunky boy as well. Let me just, let me have a little think. See what I can find. There we go. I went for those base game ones. Base game smaller ones, and I've put three on it. Um, because I had three in the reference image as well. So I'm going to do that. I am going to do it. Going to do it, darlings. Right. A couple more details, including Wisteria. And then I'm going to leave it today. And we're going to be back with this next week, sadly. Um... I hate starting a new build and then coming back to it ages away. But tomorrow, loves, the Potter Project is back. We're going to be starting on... Um, I was just about to say Malfoy Manor then. We've done that, Aiden. We're starting on Hagrid's Hut tomorrow and the Forbidden Forest. But just, just a little smidgen of a Forbidden Forest. We're going to do it on a 64 by 64 lot as well. So it's going to be a big boy. Um, and it's going to be... A, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Very much looking forward to it. Do I want to do... No, we're going to keep them smaller up here as well. Just putting a few of these. 
uh, cheeky things in. Sandrals, corpals, florals, what are they called? Corpals. <laughs> florals. Where did I get florals from? No idea. No idea at all. Right, and then I'm going to add in some um, wisteria now as well. I think I might try and see if we can put on the wisteria. I was going to say the wisteria from debug, but I think it might be a bit too much for here. Um, so we won't. We're going to add on this. We're going to do this instead. We're going to keep it safe. And just add on what we know. And just get some greenery built up on the front of this. All beautiful like, you know? All beautiful like. Love a bit of gardening me. Yeah, that's going to that's gonna look good. That is going to look nice. Um, I'm probably going to use quite a bit. Probably going to use quite a bit on this build. Uh, I, I use this to death. But don't we all? You know, don't we all now? Now that it's in game, don't we bloody all? Um, let's bring you up a little tab there as well. Picking you out there, my love. Yeah, that's going to look cute. That will look cute. It goes nice with the um, red brick. Really, really nice with the red brick. Uh, I'm going to do a bit more around this corner, actually. Let me, let's, let's have a look together. We're going to do it together. We're going to have a look at that debug stuff. Um, content. Give me that live edit. Oh. Give me that live edit, darlings. Um, where's the live edit stuff? Is it in here? Is it in flowers? Is it somewhere where it's... There we are. Let's just have a little look at this. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, she's slipping in. Filth. Absolute filth. Didn't mean to be filth then, but I was. Absolute filth. I think you might work. Uh, it does float away quite a bit, though, doesn't it? And it does stay up as well, which is annoying. Now, I think I think we'll stick. At least we tried, loves. I think we'll stick with the... Uh, with the already in-game stuff. The catalogue stuff. Um, I just think it will be a lot easier. And then it doesn't stick up like it just did with us then. But, um, you know, that kind of vibe. We're going to do it. I promise it's going to look glorious by the time we finished. But, um... For now, we're going to leave it here. We've, we did a little bit today. We did a little bit. We made, we got the main kind of like structure of the vicarage down. I'll be back with this next week, probably on Tuesday um, with the next part of this. But um, it's coming along okay. It is. It's coming along. I like it. That's the thing. Um, but yeah, I'm going to say goodbye now. I'll be back tomorrow with some more. Well, with the start of the Potter Project once again. And then on Friday, we've got a Design Me Devon coming as well. So I'm going to say goodbye now. And I'll see all you guys on Twitch tonight at 7pm. We're playing some more of Beyond Two Souls, which is a really cool game. Um, but that's it. Goodbye.